guys good evening and welcome back to my channel today is may 6 2019 and it's monday and this is my second vlog guys thank you so much for those who subscribed and liked my uh my video i appreciate it so much and today what's gonna be the vlog for today since next week monday is gonna be the election day so what i'm gonna do now is i will share with you guys my um top six um senatorables that most likely i will be voting on monday and hopefully wag nyo akong ibash i know that not all of you guys will uh, agree with me with my opinion at all but i respect that same as um because we all have we all have um right to choose with that uh if your uh, choices or your picks are not the same with mine then i'm gonna respect that too all right well, anyways, for tonight, again, I will be um, sharing with you my top six. The list that I have is a mix of uh, pro and anti-Duterte, as well as I have an independent candidate with, uh, on the list. Um, I will also uh, share with you why. It's not going to be like very deep, but I'll share with you somehow why. But again, guys, let's just respect each other. My choices are my choices. I'm going to respect you to yours too. All right? Thank you so much. So let's start with number one. Well, this is actually, by the way, um, in random order. So it doesn't mean that this person is number one. He, she, he or she is the best. This is again in random order, but the number one that I have here is Grace Po. Grace Po is an independent candidate, and um, what I've searched uh, online is she's advocating um, children and women mothers welfare. I believe she has passed some uh, law about the welfare of um, children and mother same as education i think she is prioritizing and she's an advocate on education as well and the third one which is major malakim points nadita for me is advocate po siya ng lgbtq community which i think um those community deserve talaga nila yung yung equal rights basta um that's for me big uh, medyo malaking point ni Don for, uh, for that matter. So, the second person or the second candidate that I have here is, this is an anti-Duterte. Yes, wag na kayo mag wag kayo magalit sa akin, baka marami magalit sa akin na. But he is an anti-Duterte. Um, he is Bam Aquino. At Bam Aquino is very, um, Awesome, huh? When I saw or when I researched um, him online, uh, there is actually um, a, a a website is uh, like featuring him. Na meron siya, or he was able to pass more than uh, he was able to pass more than forty laws. So medyo ang dami nun, ha? So parang ang sipag niya don kung siempre author ko author and defending those laws sa 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 senate it's not i i i it's i know it's not gonna it's not easy so it should be hard for him but yeah he was able to pass that so then yeah it's 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 a good for me and uh well um medyo nagulat ako pero suma cum laude pala siya sa Ateneo de, de Manila so Sobrang galing kasi alam kong, ba high-end. Tapos, for sure, lahat doon matatalino din. So, yun, ang galing niya. So, point yon para sa akin. And the best for me, uh, sa fourth, more than 40 laws na naipasa niya is 
pinaka the best is yung free tuition sa college as uh, to uh, free tuition sa colleges and at uh, all state colleges and universities so kasi syempre sa probinsya guys medyo ang hirap talaga doon uh, hindi lahat ng mga kabataan doon nakakapag-aral dahil sa mahal na tuition kahit may ma malapit sila ng mga state colleges and universities bilang may tuition nga nahihirapan pa rin sila that's that's really a big help uh, the law that they've passed about the free tuition fee um hopefully marami pang uh, laws na maipasa na makakatulong talaga sa sa lahat at lalo na yun sa mga nasa malalayo sa probinsya and sa mga kabataan the third name that i have here is this person is hindi ko talaga siya kilala so parang ngayon nung ano lang nung start lang nung campaign ko siya nakilala and medyo na curious ako sa kanya and when i watched his um parang performance sa debate medyo sa tingin ko, napakalmado niya kasing tao. Kahit, kahit magulo na yung pagligid niya, napakalmado niya. So, feeling ko magaling siya. Parang focus siya. Focus siya talaga. At matalino. Ang pangalan niya po, I, sh I don't know how to pronounce his name uh, correctly. I think it's Shell or Shell Jok, no? I think he's, he's uh, great. He's a lawyer and a human rights advocate. So, um, hindi ako uh, anti-Duterte. Actually, masaya ako sa or uh, masaya ako sa performance ng Duterte administration. Kahit pa paano, mahirap, madaming challenges, pero well, I'm satisfied with with the performance. It's just that along the way, hindi mo tal lalo na sa uh, uh, war on drugs, hindi mo talaga maiiwasan na may nasasaga sa ang um, human rights. I mean, di ba? Uh, may mga namamatay na dapat hindi mamatay so we should or uh, we need someone or we need people that could stand or that will stand uh, for our rights so lalo na tayo mahihirap we need someone or we need people that would back us up or would back us up kasi wala tayong pera wala tayong wala, pag walang pera walang boses diba so pag walang boses walang justice so Hi, pagpatay ka, patay na lang. So, at least, kung may may shell or shell joke no dyan sa Senate, makakapagpasa siya ng law or mga law or, yeah, batas uh, that will protect our rights. Alright? Uh, we have... So, tapos na tayo sa anti-Duterte. The next one that I have is now a pro-Duterte. Um, ito din newbie siya uh, pero nung nung nag uh, tingin tingin ako online nalaman ko na man naging congressman na pala to and hindi siya popular pero nakita ko kasi sa mga vlog ng mga uh, Duterte bloggers yung mga big ones they're supporting him kasi nga advocate siya ng um electoral reform and I think for me it's time to change uh, the law about election you know mula nung nagkaisip ako hanggang sa nag, nakapagboto na ako hanggang sa ngayon ano na edad ko ganun pa rin lagi pa rin nagkiklaim na lagi may dayaan o may nandaya or sobra sobra yung expenses saan saan galing yung pinag saan, saan galing yung 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 yung, yung pang-finance yung mga ganun so i think it's time to to change the law about that so good yan so para para kasing para kasing may parang investigation regarding Smartmatic. Smartmatic is yun na yung technology na ginagamit natin ngayon. Pero, yeah, meron pa rin, meron pa rin uh, dayaan uh, na, na reklamo. So, I think it's time na talaga to do some changes regarding that. And, yeah, he is, Glenn Chong is advocating about 
reform, electoral reform. The, uh, the, the fifth one that I have is, well, he is an experienced one. He, for me, he is very, he's a great person. Kasi pag nag, uh, nung nag, medyo nagtingin-tingin ako online, ang ganda ng kanyang track record. Uh, he's a lawyer. Oh, by the way, Glenn Chong is Bisaya din pala. So, the more na, ano, the more na ibuboto ko siya. Next that I have is also a Bisaya. Uh, again, a lawyer. And said, I think he is now the Senate President. Uh, he is Coco Pimentel. So, I want maybe discuss further about that. Kasi, syempre, alam naman na natin, popular naman siya. And, yeah, magaling naman siya. Kahit nung nag politikon political convention convention last week yata or two weeks ago nandun siya and he was able to answer the questions properly so it's it's just very nice is it is great gusto ko siya and the last one that i have is a newbie again and another pro Duterte, another bisaya Nagustuhan ko yung performance niya na sa uh, performance niya sa CNN debate kasi parang outnumbered sila ng pro, outnumbered sila ng pro, pro Duterte doon. I just don't know kasi parang siya lang yung nakikita ko kasi siya lang yung talagang tumatayo at sumasagot. Pero talagang may ano siya malakas yung loob niyang sumagot. So and up uh, yung yung questions niya about sa connection siya about sa drug war na Shem of course he is he was the PNP in chief in chief that time so nasagot niya naman din ng maayos kay papaano or nasagot niya talaga ng maayos so and he is the PMA mayor so that's general bato de la rosa yeah so again uh grace uh number 2 is bam Number three is Shell or Shell. Number four I have is um, Glenn Chong. Number five is Coco Pimentel. And last, uh, on the, in the sixth spot, is um, uh, General Bato de la Rosa. So I think that's it. Yun yung top six ko. Yung another six ko, yung six. You know, another six score is, of course, um, secret names happen. And thank you. And hopefully, um, again, uh, makaka-relate ma kayo sa, sa topic natin ngayon kasi napapanahon siya. So, kung meron kayong hindi nagustuhan or meron kayong gusto naman i-share sa akin, i-correct yung information ko or, or i-correct yung nalaman kong information, then you are free to leave your comments down below and also don't forget to subscribe as well meron siya dyan yung naka sa red red subscribe button dyan as well as you may um kung gusto niyo yung topic or gusto niyo yung sinasabi ko or nagustuhan niyo yung video na to just please click like and share Thank you so much again. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.